Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com and welcome back to another edition of Vegan Mofo on What a Vegan Eats. I am doing a video every single day for the month of September to celebrate Vegan Month of Food and every video is going to have a recipe and a kind of a um, summary of what I've had to eat that day and answer some questions from the Vegan Mofo website. So today I'm going to be making something with bacon. Vegan bacon that is. These guys, I'll talk about them. I'm also going to tell you about this amazing vegan macaroni and cheese that I had the other day since one of the big themes of Vegan Mofo is Mac and Cheese Mondays. And uh, then I'm going to answer a question about tofu. So far today, I had a smoothie. It was blueberry, mango, frozen acai, and I feel like there was one more thing in it, but it was really, really tasty. I'm all about the simple smoothies that are just fruit, so it was raw, it was really delicious, very flavorful, and it's a great way to start the morning. Speaking of mornings, every morning I try to start off with a big glass of water to hydrate myself. It's a new healthy thing that I've gotten in the habit of doing. I'm really trying to drink as much water as possible. I don't know about you, but Los Angeles has been sweltering, so it's very, very important to keep yourself hydrated if you're in a warm climate whenever you are, whatever season it is. I just think it's important to be hydrated in general, but extra, extra cautious when it's extra hot out. After that, I had this incredible, really, really simple dish, kind of based on something I had the previous day. If you check out yesterday's video, you'll see that. It was just a gluten-free pasta dish. It was brown rice pasta shells, and the shells always remind me of being a kid. I love them. I just love how like little bits of food fall inside the shell. Yeah, and I mixed in a bunch of Korean vegetables from Dave's Korean from the farmer's market, which I also talked about yesterday. So I had delicious burdock root, lotus root, a bunch of mixed veggies. I think it was like carrots and maybe daikon and some other finely chopped items. Some ginger on there that was really good. And I just mixed that up with the, this great little Korean sauce that the vegetables are soaked in. It was more like a broth super super delicious so i always encourage you to just find a grain so be it a rice be it quinoa be it some sort of gluten-free pasta or whole wheat pasta if you're okay with that and mix it in with just a bunch of vegetables that especially if they have a marinating in something that's super good it's simple i had a little bit of super high quality cold pressed organic extra virgin extra extra virgin olive oil i don't do a ton of oil but it really helped boost the flavor and the, the texture of this dish. So I really, really enjoyed that. For the rest of the day, I've had a kombucha. This is Bucha Verbena Rose. It's one of my favorites. They also make this really good one with mango. Incredible. Some people don't think they like kombucha, but they might not have had the best brand yet. These tend to be very, very flavorful. The flavor kind of overpowers the sourness of the kombucha flavor. I've been snacking very lightly on Phony Bologna's coconut bacon. This has just come out pretty recently and it may just be in the LA area and on some online stores. Highly recommend that you check this out. It is a phenomenal condiment. Sometimes I just eat it as it is. It's extremely salty though. And eventually you get used to the salt flavor. I try not to have too much salt in my diet, but it's nice to have this treat, and I'm actually going to use this in tonight's recipe. I also made some brown rice for tonight's recipe, and I've just kind of been snacking on this little by little as I've been getting my work done. All right, before I move on to that recipe, i got to tell you about this incredible mac and cheese I had the, the other night. It was so good, I couldn't wait to eat it, so I didn't even take a photo, and now I'm regretting it. So, I may have to make it for another one of these macaroni and cheese Mondays as part of Vegan Mofo because I really want you guys to see it and see a whole recipe video on it. But I'll tell you what the basics are if you can't wait. So it was those pasta shells, that's what I bought those pasta shells for that I was reading about earlier. Mixed in with a vegan cheese sauce that I made with some gluten-free uh, uh, baking powder. Mixed in with a little bit of milk, I think I used hemp, hemp milk in it to make a roux. And then I put in some pepper jack daya cheese, mix that in and kept adding more milk and a little bit of water until it got nice and creamy that consistency. Then I added in some garlic powder and some chipotle powder and a little bit of salt and it had this phenomenal flavor. Then I took some cooked strips of tempeh bacon, which I had 
cooked up on the stove ahead of time. Chop those up into small pieces and mix those right into the sauce. It was this cheesy bacon sauce that was so, so good. And then I poured it over the pasta shells and in with some tomato and broccoli and it was this creamy, ooey, gooey, super, super flavorful dish. I promise I will make a recipe and if I don't do it soon enough, keep reminding me. All right, so for this one, I'm going to pair this brown rice and this coconut bacon with dun, 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 Brussels sprouts. I feel like maybe the theme of my mofo, completely unintentionally, is showing you how to make foods that off, people often turn their nose up at taste really good. So yesterday I talked all about durian, and today I'm going to be doing Brussels sprouts. So maybe you should tell me what some of, some of the foods that you don't typically like. Give me a list of those and I'll just come up with recipes based on them so that you could try them and maybe change your mind about them. Now if you've turned your nose up at Brussels sprouts in the past, I can t assure you that they can taste amazing, especially when they have some sort of bake, uh, vegan bacon, I should say, paired with them. I've had excellent Brussels sprouts. One of my favorite places to have Brussels sprouts at is Cafe Gratitude, which has locations in Los Angeles and Northern California. If you go to Cafe Gratitude, get the Brussels sprouts. Absolutely fabulous. Oh my gosh, I think they have little bits of bacon or something in them. I don't know. They're very oily and salty, but just perfectly tender. And that's the thing. You gotta get them to the right texture. And then you wanna pair them up with usually some oil and some salt. And that's where things like the bacon come in. Uh, usually a vinegar is really good in it and the sweetness. In fact, one of my other favorite recipes was when I paired up with Chef Christy Morgan. And she showed me how to make this delicious Brussels sprouts dish with butternut squash. And it had this great sauce that I'm gonna make again tonight. I don't have the butternut squash, but I'm just gonna make the sauce itself to drizzle on top of those with some bacon and some rice. I wanted to answer the vegan mofo question of the day, which is, share your first experience cooking with tofu. It's not exactly a question, but, okay, I have no idea what my first experience with tofu is, but it's actually a very good question for this video because it reminds me of my father, as do Brussels sprouts. I think part of the reason I'm so passionate about food is because I grew up having a lot of really good food cooked at home. My father was the chef of the household. But he makes killer Brussels sprouts and really good tofu. He really understands how to season things properly. And again, as I mentioned with the Brussels sprouts, that's the key. It's the same thing with tofu. It's really not about the product, the actual food. It's about what you do with it. So tofu can taste delicious when it's fried up, for example, and put in a nice oily Asian dish with maybe some soy sauce or tamari, maybe a little bit of sweetener. Basically take any sauce, barbecue sauce, pesto sauce, ranch dressing, whatever you want to do, and then you cook the tofu up to whatever texture that you like. So if you like it kind of soft and mushy, or if you like it more crispy on the outside, you can also press it down so a lot of the moisture gets out. They make these tofu press, and they make really thin strips of tofu so when you do fry them up or when you bake them, they actually don't have a ton of moisture in them. They're more uh, chewy or sometimes even crunchy. So typically what I would do with this is steam these. But actually, I don't have my steamer with me in this kitchen. So I think I'm just going to boil these Brussels sprouts. It's always an experiment. I filled up the pan um, about to the halfway point of the Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to put these on boil and wait till they're nice and tender. Right. The Brussels sprouts are just about done. I turn them off the heat and I'm just gonna let them sit in the warm water while I make the dressing. So again, this came from Christy Morgan's recipe. Um, lemon juice, about a tablespoon. And do a whole small lemon. Then I'm gonna take some coconut aminos. You can also use tamari, you can use soy sauce, you can use Ragged liquid aminos. I use these because I like to use things soy free. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that into here. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of maple syrup. You could use coconut nectar, you could use agave nectar or brown rice syrup, whatever sweetener you prefer. A tablespoon of that in there. 
And then I'm going to use some balsamic vinegar. This would, this would be better with a brown rice vinegar, a lighter vinegar. So I'm going to do a little less than a tablespoon of this. And last but not least, some ginger. Chop up this ginger. Just enough to get that flavor in there. All right, and so we're just going to mix this all up. Super easy. Ooh. came out very sweet. The maple syrup tends to be very strong in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the coconut aminos. So you can just enjoy the steamed Brussels sprouts as is, but I'm gonna make these a little extra exciting. So I'm gonna take them off the stove and drain them. And then I'm going to fry them up a little bit to make them extra tasty. Everything tastes better when it's fried. Yes, it's true. I'm going to fry them up with <laughs> some coconut oil, which is, I prefer to use over olive oil. People argue about this all the time, but a lot of experts say that olive oil is not very good to cook with. While I'm heating up the oil, I'm gonna slice up the Brussels sprouts into nice bite-sized pieces. Now, if you're oil-free, you could also do this with some veggie broth, which I would recommend. If I had some, I would much prefer to do it that way. There's really no need to use oil, but sometimes I, would, I just enjoy the taste of it. Now, once they're in there, you want to coat them with the oil or the veggie broth, whatever it may be. And then I'm going to sprinkle on little phony bologna bacon bits. Looks like that. Mix this all up. By the way, you can easily make your own coconut bacon. You don't have to buy it in packaging. You can just get some coconut flakes, some maple, some uh, maple syrup that is, some liquid smoke, and a few other things, and it's delicious. There are recipes all over. Stay tuned because Vegetorial is going to have a phenomenal coconut bacon recipe on her site too, and I always encourage you to try to make things yourself. Get everything nice and well coated on here, and just cook it for a little bit. You kind of want the Brussels sprouts to marinate in that sauce there, same with the little bacony bits. Now since my rice has been sitting out for a little while, I'm going to add some of the rice in here, so warm it up, and also coat it in this delicious sauce. Mmm! Wow! Don't you love it when recipes come out better than you planned? This is really, really good. So let's transfer it to a bowl. Mmm! All the flavors really, really came together for this. Awesome. Didn't yield too much. I only used about a half a pound of Brussels sprouts. Probably about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup of rice as well as um, a sprinkle of the coconut bacon and the other measurements I gave you for the sauce. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more bacon on there since it lost its crunch when it was cooked. And you really, really didn't need that oil at all because everything stayed really moist. So if I were you, I'd advise veggie broth or water just to cook the Brussels sprouts. Mmm. It's got such a great Asian flavor. Coconut bacon adds a whole new salty, crunchy element to it. It's really, really tasty. <sighs> well, I can't wait to hear what you think of this as usual. And how has Vegan Mofo been for you? Have you been seeing other posts? Have you been watching other videos? What have you been learning from the Vegan Month of Food? Are you doing anything yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know when you try this recipe, if you modify it. Love, love, love hearing your feedback. Stay tuned because tomorrow I'll have another recipe. I have no idea what it's going to be. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Let me know what vegetables you are afraid or any foods in general you're a little bit of afraid of and I'll try to come up with a recipe that makes them less frightening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.